All right, welcome back to Bayou Time. And of course, we tell you the parish president uh, would be on tonight, and he is. Parish President Gordon Dove uh, joins us. He's on the news desk right now, but he brought along some uh, people that could help us with tonight's segment. Chris Pulaski is the director of planning and zoning in Terrebonne Parish, but he's also the interim for Parks and Recreation. Welcome, Chris. Good to have you aboard. Thank you, Martin. All right, and also we have uh, Mr. Dana Ortego, who is the Human Resources and Risk Management Director. Dana, good to have you on board, too. Thank you, Martin. Appreciate it. All right, so a lot of uh, controversy came in the last few weeks, and I know the parish president has spent a lot of time trying to revamp the Terrebonne Parish Parks and Recreation. So what I want to do... We're not going to rehash the whole controversy. Everybody, if they don't know about it, their head's been in the sand lately. So everybody's sort of familiar with what took place. But it, it sort of, I guess, uh, made people look at the policies and the regulations concerning Terrible and Parish Parks and Recreation. And I know you all put a PowerPoint together to bring to the people. I think we're breaking it tonight. So, Mr. Parish President, I'll give you the first word on that. Yeah, Martin, well, you know, as, as, you, as you know, uh, my administration is dedicated to moving Terrebonne Parish Parks and Recreation into the future by making changes to our policy procedures and protocols. You know, as you know, this, this, this system of rec districts and, and, and Terrebonne Parish rec Recreation has, has been going on for 20, 25, if not 30 years, and it's antiquated, it's time for a change, and, and, and of course, the the first changes we're going to make is in, in, in within house, which is TPR, which which we, we, we run. And of course, with the chain of events between Rec 2, 3, and 11, and uh, then, then, then that, that incident with um, uh, Mr. Washington and, and, and one of the coaches who were not, wasn't even supposed to be on the field, you know, we're, we're going into a, a system of ba background checks concussion training, CPR training where and then people will wear a badge and we'll get into all that. These, these, these gentlemen right here can explain exactly how everything's going to work. Mm -hmm. You know, presently in, in, on the rec districts 2, 3, and 11, we have, we have forensic audits going on by Bourgeois and Bennett. We have state and local investigations going on, going on, on rec 2, 3, and 11, you know, which is the rec districts. Now remember, we don't control the rec district's money. They control it themselves. We do control TPR, and uh, that's what we've been really working on. And besides trying to work with the rec 2, 3, and 11. And, and remember this, Martin, getting started at the beginning, it's, it's, it, it, it is no, it, the, the rest of the, a lot of the levy, I mean, a lot, excuse me, a lot of the Reg boards do a great job. I mean, it's no reflection on them, and, and I'm asking the public, does, you know, y'all got some great recreation boards out there. You have 11 of them, and they do a good job, and we've had problems with 2, 3, and 11. So you've got nine other ones that are really doing a good job, and please don't let this tarnish them in any way because it's, you know, now it's not about them, but the change is all about everyone. Yeah. Right. So in other words, you can't discriminate. You've got to change the whole system to make the whole system whole. Well, right now, yeah, like your concussions and your CPR training and, you know, it, 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 uh, background checks, we need to bring this all up to this, to, you know, to, to uh, get out of the old antiquated system that, 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 that they've been operating here for years. This should have been done years ago. And like anything else in parish government, since, since I've taken office, I've made a lot of changes. I've done, you know, so we've taken problem by problem and going into solving it, and this is another one of the problems to solve. So let's jump into the PowerPoint. That I th are you going to address the council Wednesday on this also? I think. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's let's bring up uh, the next page if we can, and of course it says the goal of these changes is to better protect and serve our youth and citizens who participate and volunteer in our programs in this great parish. So obviously that was uh, the movement that started this, so let's go to the next one and I'll let the group uh, jump in. All right, who wants to go ahead and take this? Do y'all want to handle this? Uh, well, as you can see, uh, one of the first things in that goal, stated goal, was to better protect uh, our youth. And one of the ways that we'll be doing that is implementing that all 
uh, TPR employees 18 years of age or older will be uh, uh, will have a background check, a certified background check that's a little bit more extensive than what we've seen in the past. Uh, now to essentially be a, a nationwide uh, background check, uh, both uh, including uh, Terrebonne and Lafouche, but it'll go a little bit deeper than that, um, and it'll go back a little bit further in terms of the number of years. Who would have um, thought that? Of course, in today's society, when you watch news on a national basis, it's a shame, but it, it's, it's hit Terrebonne. Terrebonne is not immune from what's happening everywhere. It's a shame you got to do it, but you got to protect the children at all costs. And Martin, this will be on a, going back seven years, and when he meant Terrebonne and Lafouche, he meant that we're doing background checks for the pe people in Terrebonne, and Terrebonne and Lafouche, and of course, nationwide. Okay, let's move to the next one. And whoever wants to jump in there, go ahead and jump in on the, uh, the next slide. Okay, uh, Morton, I'll take this one. Uh, we figured out that it would be uh, advantageous to go ahead and, and set up a system for our badges. This is a way for us to specifically uh, identify TPR officials who are actually paid TPR uh, officials and or that work for TPR maybe in the recreation districts. So what we're going to do is all blue badges will be for TPR paid employees. Uh, they will have a badge, they will have the year, they will say who they work for and then what their position is. Uh, example, uh, this particular one, this is for a, an umpire for youth sports. Then from there we have another system uh, that we would identify for coaches. And then we also have one that will be identify, identifying uh, volunteers. So it's going to make it easy recognizable when our, when our employees or the coaches or the volunteers have a specific badge so they know the, the parents watching the games and any spectators will know those people are part of the recreation activity. And I'm sure y'all won't put it out for public, but I'm sure there's some kind of safe check on this in case somebody would try to mimic it. We all became good at making uh, license, licenses back in the day, so I'm sure well, if somebody wants to mimic it, I'm sure y'all have a plan for that too. Well, well you, you know, Martin, if, <clears throat> if a parent sees someone sitting at a bench with their eight-year-old daughter or son, and they don't have a badge on with 2018 across it with a pictured ID, they, they, they meet, you know, besides our supervisors naturally notice, you know, making sure that that doesn't happen, walk up there and find out what, what is this person sitting on a bench for? You know, if you're on, if you're on the field or you're on the court, you better have a badge and it better be displayed or you're going to ask to be leave. You, you, you're going to ask to, you're going to be told to leave. Okay. So I know another part of this, and we'll go to that, is the fact that concussions have become a major part of everybody's thinking from the NFL on down. So uh, what, what sparked this, if I could ask, and uh, how are y'all going to handle this? Well, um, like you mentioned, you know, uh, the NFL, it's certainly been something that's been talked about a lot, but the other sp sports too. I mean, I know of folks that have had concussion uh, issues, you know, in soccer or, or basketball. But what we'd like to do, again, going back to that safety of our youth, we're going to have all of our umpires, all of our officials, coaches, assistant coaches, everybody will uh, undergo the concussion protocol training. Um, as required by state law, but it's just the right thing to do. Uh, uh, the folks, uh, Stan Gravois and the folks at uh, Terrebonne General Community Sports Initiative have been very helpful. Uh, we're going to be working with them to provide that training. Um, we'll be able to do that through a number of scheduled sessions, live sessions with them, uh, and we'll be getting that information out uh, through the parish's websites. Uh, but you could also do that same training online, and we'll provide that information on how to do so that. So in other words, if the chance is not a doctor at one of the games, by everybody getting training, they'll at least be able to recognize that somebody's in danger. That's right. And they have the authority, I guess, at that point to cease that player from playing. That way it protects the player. That is so. correct, Martin. The way that the uh, I understand the uh, Act 314, the protocol, is they have specific uh, outlines of what are symptoms. The coaches, the umpires, the field directors, gym directors, uh, as well as the officials will go through this training. They will be certified to at least recognize certain symptoms that this child or adult may have. If that's the case, then immediately that child will be taken off of the field 
and then according to Louisiana protocol in, in Act 314, uh, they actually have to go to their own doctor and get cleared to be able to come back and participate in recreational activity. And I guess the original move, sometimes we all know coaches want to win. So they, e even in the NFL sometimes, if you ask one of the coaches, they won't see the concussion, but the umpire may say, no, no, there's a problem here. So it That's puts correct. it in a multitude of people making that decision so not one person can make it. It will be a multi-level decision in the best interest of that child. All right. So let, let's move along. Uh, and who wants to jump in on the next one? Okay. Uh, the next one, I guess, will be the, the red badges. All of the Terrebonne Parish, uh, that pertains to the, the specific training and requirements that we have, the uh, slide that you have up. All of our officials, our field and gym supervisors and directors will also be trained in CPR or at least be able to uh, know different CPR techniques and or the AED operations. Uh, we are making a uh, presentation to the uh, board that the president has put together of all the rec districts and recommending that they uh, proceed in purchasing AED devices. Some of the rec boards have already done so. Uh, and so therefore it makes it very uh, advantageous to make sure that everyone knows how to operate them and to have them in the appropriate places. Uh, if they're not fortunate enough to have it immediately, then someone in the, uh, the recreation officials and or the gym and uh, the directors and the field directors will have CPR training. Uh, as you said, we're very fortunate here in, in South Louisiana at most activities uh, there's probably a nurse and or a doctor's child who's playing recreation, but uh, in certain cases they might, that might not be the case. So uh, we're going to make sure that uh, they, they are trained, again, with the help of TGMC outreach program. Uh, they'll train all of our coaches, all of our officials, all Stan Grab one them, but an outstanding in setting up programs for us to make sure that all that happens. Now let me ask you, Mr. Parish President, obviously with all this being put into play, you saw a need, was it that lacking in the departments or just something you needed to fine tune a little it, bit? You know, it was very lacking. Yeah, we, we brought it up to more, more of the standards of today. So in other words, Morton, we're going in here and completely, over, completely overhauling something, like I said, this should have been done years ago. Uh, you know, we've worked together. We've, we've been working on this. I mean, this just didn't happen overnight. And, and it's something, in, in other words, the, the identification part is if there, there is, if there is a, 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 no, a, a felon or a sex offender and, 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 and he or she is on the field and not supposed to, you know, they don't have a badge. These background checks are very thorough, they're nationwide, and it's all about protecting our kids and our youth. All right, and then uh, let's bring up the next graphic, and whomever that falls under, you may want to comment about this one. Uh, I'll take that if you don't mind. But the president um, has already indicated to move this initiative forward. Uh, the Human Resource Department, even though we have a lot of volunteers out there, that uh, we will make sure that we do appropriate applications, background checks. All of these things will be completed prior to the actual badges be, being issued to our coaches, our uh, officials, as well as the volunteers. And then my department, Risk Management and Human Resource, will do audits on all of those particular individuals, making sure that the background checks are current, making sure that all the coaches and all of the officials are appropriately trained in, in uh, the concussion protocol each year as is required by law. Mm -hmm. Uh, and also, uh, we'll keep pushing forward to get the AED uh, equipment into all of the locations and making sure that we have appropriately trained uh, officials with the rec departments and the rec districts uh, to comply. The rec districts are joining us. We're going to uh, make it an initiative that uh, they have all their people checked, just like uh, regular TPR officials, to make sure that we're unified, that uh, all people will be all of employees associated with children's sports and activities will be uh, appropriately done. And you done. took the, you took the, well, you really answered my next question is, it should start at the top. So y'all have, y'all have addressed that. It should start at the rec districts. And if they are in charge of administrating rules that go down to the coaches, to the umpires, to the people that work the field, the gates, concessions, everything, they better have a clean slate too. Exactly, Martin. And, uh, you know, it, 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 like I said, this program is, is not only for us to police, which we will, 
it's for parents. You know, the the the, the color coded badges. It, you know, they they must be displayed. Uh, the traveling teams to make sure that who's ever going on these traveling teams, you know, have been vetted through the parish and uh, vetted through the system and. Um, you know, it's 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 something like I said. It's it's going to be a, a very very t tight tight system, and you know we, we're going to administer it now. Anyone in the public who you know, once we're rolling with this, if anyone has any ideas, we're open to the ideas. I mean, we you know this this is a moving project. If someone if we can tweak it here or there and do a better job, we'll certainly listen to anyone and. Please let us know if there's if there's something they think we can add to this program. All right, hold that thought. I want to do is take a short break right now. We're going to go to a break. Come back. We'll finish our discussion. This is a very important discussion on the security of your children in the Terrebonne Parish Parks and Recreation Department. And a lot of new procedures look like they're on the horizon. And uh, as this is all in place to protect your children. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about it. Don't go away. Thank you. 